For the second straight game, the Adamson Soaring Falcons blew their chances in a heartbreaking overtime loss. Fresh off an 85-88 defeat at the hands of the Fu Tamaraz, the Falcons got clipped yet again in OT, this time by a single point, 78-79, against longtime tormentor De La Salle Green Archers. After starting the OOP season 81 with five straight wins, the Falcons now find themselves tied for the top spot with Atenio and Fu at 5-2 at the end of the first round. As such, the usually outspoken Adamson head coach Franz Pumeran left quietly and quickly after the game, saying nothing more than the fact that they need to pick up the pieces heading to the second round. Instead, team leaders Jarek Ahun Missy and Sean Manganti faced the media, although they obviously weren't in the highest of spirits either. Ahun Missy, who finished the game with 27 points, just stared at the Mall of Asia Arena scoreboard still flashing the results of their all-out war. This was a tough, tough game to lose for us, he said. I think that there is a lot of stuff that we did in the game that were wrong, and we should have won, obviously, but I don't know. It's just the little mistakes that, towards the end, we shouldn't have made. Prior to the two desperation threes made by the star pair to close out the one point loss, Adamson shot 2 of 10, 20%, and let LaSalle sink 9 of 12, 75%, free throws. Manganti, who followed Ahan Missy with 23 points, knew it all too well. We just gotta play better in crunch time, he said. We really shot ourselves in the foot. We lost that game. LaSalle did not beat us. We beat ourselves, he continued. Still, the fact remains that LaSalle has defeated Adamson seven straight times in the year of Franz Pumeran, who interestingly, was also the man who brought four straight titles to LaSalle starting in 1998. Most recently, the Archers have booted the Falcons out of the Final Four for two straight seasons. In the wake of this most recent setback, Adam Missy, Manganti and surely the rest of the Falcons have only grown hungrier for a win against the Green and White. I don't really have much to say. I just want to beat them the next time we play them next round, said Aaron Missy. We're just gonna prepare for them, and we're gonna do everything we can to beat them next round. The only positive thing that came out is that it's only the first round, quipped Manganti. I want to beat them so bad. They're number one on my list. I think they know that. Dot this one hurts, but we're just gonna take it like any other game, he continued. We're gonna go one game at a time. We're not going to change our mentality. We still think we belong here. Dot this long standing rivalry has long tipped past the boiling point, but somehow, it's still getting hotter after every game.